Um, what do you do for work? Um, I I own this business, and uh, and then I also do some real estate as well. What do you do? Uh, you got your real estate license? I do not. No, we manage. Uh, my dad has commercial properties, so I help him with the management of that. Okay. I dabble in a lot of things. This is, you know, this is probably my primary income as far as that goes. Okay. I got you. Um, and how long did you say that you've had this? This here? I'm, we moved here in June of last year, I believe it was. Mm-hmm. So June here at wholesale? Yes. Okay. And your internet provider is Ozarks Go. Ozarks. And how long have you had them? I I don't exactly remember. And do you guys operate on like a Wi-Fi here? Or? So, yes and no. We've had several different things. In fact, last week I changed it because we had three different. There's I think there's three routers in there right now. I honestly can't remember. But we had it daisy chained to where we had different, um, so we could send it out over the lot, so we could get to the, each edge uh, to be able to take pictures and things like that and post them up. Because um, our cell service is not real great down here in the valley. So, um, but I think we right now I think I probably have two routers in there hooked up. One's more of a long range, and one's closer up. Okay. Two routers, and are they password protected or secure? Um, I believe one of them is. The other one I think was more like a guest network. Um, but I've, I think that's why I've got them separated right now. Okay. Right. And yet last week I changed the configuration on the, the router because the one was open. The, the one that said the main one up where our, actually comes, the modem comes in. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. And you said you didn't have very good cell service here, huh? Well, depending on the provider, um, who do you have for AT, cell AT&T and AT&T. Verizon? Well, I have it, I have Verizon, right. but that's we've had your, both. That's on your personal phone? Or? Yes, on my personal phone. Okay. And what's that number? 479-200-2681. Uh, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, you said AT&T on another one? or? Oh, I don't have any. I, I used to, oh, okay. um, right. but AT&T is... Is I know there's and then Sprint is we can't really get any signal here for them. Okay. Um, how long and how long have you had Verizon? I don't know. I don't recall. Yeah. How about um, in your residence? Electronics there? Um. But electronics. What do you mean by that? Like computers, phone, other phones, anything like that. Um. I mean, my wife has a phone. Mm-hmm. Um. But not not any more that I possess. Okay. Um, I mean, I have in the past, and I've recently upgraded my phone. So, I mean, as far as that goes, I don't want to. All right. Um, email. You got email accounts? Yes. What would that be? Um. So my email is Joshua Duggar at iCloud.com. It's my full name. So if you don't mind, we'll go back real quick to those electronics. I know uh, Agent Accord mentioned in your home residence, uh, but for the reason of why we're here today, what are we talking about electronics on scene? Okay. So you have your cell phone, right? Got my cell phone, and then there's a lap there's a laptop in that RV over there. Okay, no, let's do one by one. The phone, that was one that you had in your pocket, right? Right, in my pocket. Um, who else has access to that phone? Um, well, depending on who's, I mean, sometimes... I have a guy that works with me. He'll take pictures sometimes with the phone. So um, outside of you, other people will possibly have. Is, is it password protected? Yeah, it's not 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 uh, not very secure. I mean, everybody knows it. Okay. Uh, my kids use it quite a bit. My wife, um, mostly family and gotcha. friends. Is it it's a not swipe? Like I would hand it around. Passcode or is it a pin number? Numeric. It's uh, it's a it's a pin. What is the pin number for it? Um, am I required to to give that to you? You're not. But, okay, but, but, I'd rather not. Okay, yeah. I'll, we'll get a little bit more into yep. the forensic side of stuff. No, that's um, fine. That's you said fine. a laptop. That's the one in the RV, right? Yes. So it the is la- password protected as well. Is that yours? Yes. Who else would have access to that? Same same kind of deal. We use it for you know kids watching movies, you know browsing online, whatever. 
protected. But it doesn't get used all all that much. But it is password protected. Yes. Just one password or multiple. Well, so it's password protected in the fact that if you log in, I think it'll automatically log you in. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're, you know, if you go to, it sits idle, it'll lock up sometimes. Okay. I don't know exactly how I have it set. But in terms of ownership, that is your laptop. And in terms of the phone, that is your phone. Yes. yes. Uh, we noticed inside of the mm -hmm. whatever, I don't know which one is your office, but the one yes. over here that has the open sign, mm -hmm. that there was another elect uh, computer in there. Yes, so that's an, eight, uh, an HP. That computer is, uh, it's now password protected, um, but pretty much the guys that work here are the ones that use it. Okay. Um, and so there's, you know, different... So is there, there's currently a password on it right now? Yes, there is. Yeah. And the password's written. I mean, I have it written around so the guys know. Um, I got so you. it's not like, I mean, it's just mo mainly to keep somebody from breaking in and accessing files. Oh, no, I understand. Of, you know, right, right. Um, whatever. And so <clears throat> computer in the office, laptop in the RV, yep. your cell phone, and then your coworker's cell phone. Yeah. And then there's also, they, were, they reminded me, there's a hard drive probably in the security system, which is up above. Oh, for your surveillance? Right. For yeah. surveillance system. But you, you want to use that to, to recover? It's not even, it's not active right now. I mean, I didn't tell anybody else that, but I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> well, I promise. Know? We don't I mean, plan on breaking it. No, so, I'm just saying it's, We won't give you know, up the secret. Um, how long for your cell phone? How long have you had that? I bought it probably... When it came, I mean, a week after it came out, the iPhone 11. So, guess so, I, mean, I don't need an exact day. Two months, maybe. Two months three ago? Months. Yeah, two, two or three months. All right. What about that laptop? The laptop I've had for probably five years. Five years? And that's the one that's in the RV? Yes. All right. What about the desktop that's in there? The desktop, the I think I've had that for two and a half years, three years, something like that. And then that hard drive, if you can remember. That's probably five, uh, seven years, maybe. It's an old one. Okay. That kind of helps us narrow things down. Right. To what, what? I don't think there's any others in there. I mean, honestly, I can't remember. I might have an old, you know, phone laying around or something somewhere. In the RV or in the office? I know there's an old phone in the back of this Honda, but that's we found it in the car. You know, okay. it's not like it's uh, the car. What about any other type of? And now, when we talk about electronics, I know a lot of people often just jump to cell phones, tablets, laptops, things of that nature but also electronic devices that store uh, thumb drives. So there's there's a, there's a probably more than one thumb drive in there. I don't in know how many in the office. You're pointing at this one on in the right? In the office on the okay. right. There's also um, camera two cameras in there. Both of those have the, the ability to uh, record, I think, on them. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if any of them actually have any SD cards or anything in there. I don't know. Right. And those thumb know. drives, are those yours? Are they your coworkers or...? I don't know. I don't know. I don't actually know because I don't think I have it. There might be one in that laptop bag as well, um, but they would all be like, they would all be, I mean, if they're here, they're here. I don't know. We find stuff in cars all the time. Oh, I can imagine. Yeah. I mean, we find, when he's cleaning underneath the seats, he'll find money. I mean. You name it. Huh? Yeah, pretty much everything. I don't want to yeah. say everything we find. But. So that's more, of a, <laughs> that's more of a lost and found of thumb drives that's in the office right now. Right. But then the one. I, I would well. I mean, we may have wiped some of them and used them for because we do car photos mostly. Is what we're doing. Right. So, and I know uh, Agent Acock had kind of uh, alluded to the fact that what we do, but we're part of a specialized task force, and that task force is called the Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force. Yep based on an ongoing investigation, we were able to directly connect, actually one of our task force affiliates in the Eastern District was able to directly connect to a certain IP address that was participating in the uh, uploading and sharing of known videos and images of child pornography. Okay. That information was then sent to us because the IP geolocated back into the Western District somewhere in Northwest Arkansas. So it was transmitting or receiving at, at this point I probably probably best that you just listen okay okay um, we were able to get from this IP address uh, one specific video of child pornography and one folder containing approximately 65 images of child pornography from a specific IP address we then once that information was turned over to us because of the fact that it was geolocated in Northwest Arkansas Mm -hmm. We served a federal summons on to or for that IP address. That IP address came back to Ozarks Go okay. with a subscriber of yep, Joshua Dugger, a Duggar with 
cell phone. I'm assuming that's personal yep. cell phone. Mm -hmm. uh, with that email address that you just mentioned. Yep. Now it came back to a PO box. Yep. We kind of briefly talked about this when we got on scene. So your their service address for right. Ozarks Go has you at right this uh, lady's house down, down the street. The well, oh, that's the, that's where it is. Okay, that's where it is because Washington County proper property records have not updated or right or separated your land from this lot. Right. So your actual physical address, which we had to find out, and Ozarks Go does not have. They've corrected now because this poor lady keeps getting your mail. Um, as to what it is right now, okay. Based on all that information. Uh, we were able to determine that this was the business where downloads of child pornography had occurred. Okay. It came from, or it occurred on two separate dates, which I believe to be approximately May 14th and May 15th of 2019 through a uTorrent software. And that's why I was asking you earlier to make sure we understood or we're, we're on the same page right. with right. what TOR is, TOR, and what yep. TORN is. Um, and everything again was at the late night hours, let's say roughly between, from what we can guesstimate, between 10 and 11. Okay. So, based on all that information, a federal search warrant was obtained for the property and everything on it to include the RVs, office, and vehicles to find out or look for electronic devices that possibly were responsible for those downloads or uploads of child pornography. Okay. That's what's gotten us here today. And that's why you can see some of our questions were tailored around electronics, right. who has access, who has ownership, uh, knowledge of certain softwares and, and forensic or peer-to-peer um, uh, -peer groups. And, you know, at, at this stage, all we're trying to do, and, and I'll, I'll tell you this, I didn't know much about you leading up to this until I did, you know, some, little research, some research yep. in the last <laughs> two weeks. Man to man, I, I don't know how you do it it is amazing to me what the media is putting you through on a daily basis all because of stuff which would be considered speculation by most parts we don't want to speculate that's why we came here we tried to be as courteous as possible and have a one-on-one -on -one or, or, or a conversation to figure out who's doing this on this lot because these are not actors and actresses that are in these videos and images that that we know came from here okay, okay. these are somebody's little boy little girl At the I end of the day that's our main objective is to find out who's doing it so that we can or what electronic devices is being done on so we can get those devices and take these images back off the internet so that these kids aren't re-victimized so they're being so yeah i guess i have i mean i have quite a few questions about it but i don't know you know how much you can divulge but i'm just i'm curious you're saying there's images being uploaded or images being downloaded that the ip address from this lot mm -hmm. had child pornography associated to it in a peer-to-peer -peer software program and our task force affiliate was able to download those that video and images from the folder of the ip address okay linked to this gotcha this thing well yeah. th that's one of the things, too, and I know uh, Agent Aycock had, had also spoke about this briefly, those individuals you see walking around, you know, we, we, we didn't just decide to wake up this morning and come here. So we, we did our homework, and we've been doing this for almost a decade now. We're pretty good at what we do. Appreciate, yeah, I appreciate the work you guys uh, do. Oh, thank you. But yeah. these forensic guys are some of the best in the country. That's what great. they do is they take electronic devices, and they, through third-party software, or through certain forensic software, uh, without altering or deleting anything that's on those electronic devices can go in and see a digital fingerprint of anything and everything that's ever happened. So if some, if there's an electronic device, and that's why we're trying to get ahead of the game, if there's an electronic device that possibly might have these, this video or images or anything associated like that that's on it, we'd like to know now because once we leave here today, it's kind of the end of our conversation and we wrap our, wrap everything up and then we don't have anything else to go on other than no, I, I don't know anything about it. And then we see it, and it's like, okay, well, we had an opportunity to talk about that. Right. Why wasn't it addressed then? Right. You see what I'm getting at? Right. Um, but as long as you're confident that there's no, or, or at least... And because I, I don't want to be... I've, I've watched my friends, you know, answer things, and they I, get them for... Right. 
conspiracy or for something, and I'm just I'm not. I, I know the federal you. statutes are broad, and there's a lot of things to it, and I'm not going to say anything that's going to. We don't. We don't. Incriminate that's not me or anything at all. I don't want to. I'm. I'm. I'm not. A, you know. I'm not denying guilt, and I'm not. I'm not saying that I'm. You know. I mean, as far as anything goes, I don't want to be. I don't want to say the wrong thing. At the end of the day, you need to protect yourself. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to be show, say that I'm guilty or not. I'm just not saying. You know, on search, finding, accessing, accessing inappropriate content at some point, right. at any point in my life. We are trying to figure out what led us to this business. Okay. That's yeah. going to involve stuff that's been either uploaded or downloaded onto the internet. And I know Agent Acock had mentioned just now a while ago about uTorrent files. Well, in we'll, we'll play this out question by question. Yeah. You, you tell me what you feel comfortable with. Do you know or do you remember um, Napster back in the day? Napster was a file sharing program where millions of users throughout the world could get online and download music files. So if I had an entire album of, say, Garth Brooks, I could upload it onto this into Napster. I mean, I'm familiar. It was probably a little before my right. I, I, time, but yeah, <laughs> I'm sure You're my not age. Familiar with it. Come on, but yeah. that, that's <laughs> 31. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm 41, so you, you got me. <laughs> But uh, that was what was called a peer-to-peer -peer file sharing network, and now okay. it's evolved. Over the years, yeah. it's turned into where these particular or particular programs not only share music files, but they share video files, software programs, documents, you name it. Do you for are you familiar with, or do you know anything about peer-to-peer -peer file sharing networks? Um, I mean, I'm I'm familiar with, I guess you could say. Okay. Have you ever used or do any of these electronics currently on the property have? any of those types of software downloaded onto them yes okay which which devices are we talking about um probably all of them all so and i just right. want to make sure again we're not here to put words in your mouth so when you say all and i'm thinking, well okay i won't want to say all because i'm going to say i'm going to say the laptop the phone and the computer in the office okay so laptop in the rv yes okay the phone your i phone believe to the best of my knowledge well, that's fine yeah again I don't know if they actually all have them or We're not, not here to pin know. you in a corner right. on any of your answers. Right. Uh, the laptop that's possibly on the laptop in the RV. Right. Possibly yeah. on the phone that you had on you, right? Your phone? Right. Not Randall's. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, and then I don't know about Randall's. Well, yeah, I mean, we're going we're gonna to yep. have a conversation very similar, similar to what we were having with you at, when we're done, uh, if he wants to talk to us. And then possibly peer-to-peer -peer networks on the HP that's in the... Yes. Okay. And I guess that would, that's what Agent uh, Acock was kind of getting to. Like a tour, like a tour browser or a tour. Um, we upload stuff for our cars and things like that. I've had a friend of mine that came and set up with file sharing, so we could do you know inc more encrypted type stuff. He just said it's safer that way. He got me onto it to be now, safer. Now I want to make sure we're, again that we're clear. When you say tour, um, my definition. There's kind of a, a. I don't. I actually don't know the definition, so I don't really. Well, wanna, the tor, T O R stands for the Onion Router, which is basically the dark web and the deep web. Okay. I don't know if you ever heard of the dark web. That's, I mean, I've heard people talk about it. Right, but then yeah. there's torrent, so two different things. Okay. Um, peer to peer, so that falls into torrent you? files. So you have peer to peer files, which is software that you can download and you can exchange files with users all over the world. Tor, T O R, standing okay. for the Onion Router, is the dark web. That's a program you. That's where you you can surf the internet anonymously and and get on all these different yeah. websites. So do you know? I don't know which. I mean, I don't know. It just he said Tor, so I don't really know okay. which one. That's what, that's fine. I, I just want to make sure I'm not. When you say Tor, I'm not thinking dark web, and while you're thinking peer to peer, or vice versa. No, I don't. I so you're saying what? So are you saying what? I, I guess I'm still confused. In terms of the peer, he said you can download. I don't. I don't actually know. So right. I guess I better not. Okay. <laughs> not say if I, I don't understand. And it. I'm not going to put words in your mouth, but I'm assuming because you, you said that they have peer-to-peer -peer, uh, programs on these devices that he was talking about torrent files, not T O R. Tor. Torrent. T O R R E N T. Oh, I don't know. As opposed to T O R, and there, there is a difference there. So are you saying that tor Are you saying is your question pertaining to which one? I was just making sure that you and I were on the same page as to what you're talking. But you, I don't think you're seeing the difference. I don't see any difference in, okay. as far as I. I mean, I don't know. So your friend I, said that there's potentially on these devices. Well, no, no, no. I so I have knowledge that there is something that says Tor on there, okay. at least on one of them. Gotcha. All and right. then, and that has been. Um, 
I'm just saying that's that was at his recommendation that I that I use those. Um, and, and so a different, and I don't know at what point. Let's or leave who, it at that right. based on your description of right. it. And what would you say the usage of, of the tour? I, that, I don't recall. Okay. Yeah. It, is it more for the business or is it personal? Um, and look, I promise you we're, we're I mean, not, most, okay, so I, I can't, we're, we're not here I can't to, speak to that because, I mean, I have, you have my laptop, you have my phone. So it's probably split, you know, down the middle. Um, the office computer, probably the same thing. All right. And I don't want you to think that we're here because no, and my, somebody's and, downloading music. I, we, we wouldn't. So what are you here for then? <laughs> that's what we're getting at. Um, so is, part. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I mean, so is somebody so communicating. Part of what part of we do a lot of things with with homeland security right. investigation. We enforce over like 400 different federal statutes. And okay. Immigration, narcotics, gangs, yep. and part of the other stuff we do is child exploitation. So. We're, we we kind of work with um, saving saving kids essentially. Um, yeah. A lot of times, um, we'll find um, through internet tips that people have, you know, downloaded um, child pornography, you know, okay. stuff like that. And so is that what you're we're, saying? Is that what you're saying is going on? Well, so what we what we're saying is there is um, a possibility that there are pieces to this puzzle where we might be able to help save children. Okay. And okay. that's, that's what we're trying to, that's what we're trying to do. Okay. All right. So what is, what is the, I guess, what is the scope is what I've been trying to say. Like, is there some, is there something going on on my devices where that's been something's act accessed or something's downloaded or uploaded or something like that? That's what led us here. Yes. Okay. Okay. So what we're trying to do is hopefully, find out exactly what happened so we can try to use that information to put some pieces of the so puzzle it, together so to help save does it does it include so did it mark this IP address is that basically what you're saying yes okay so does it so I guess in the scope of your investigation is there going to be I guess I mean you'll narrow it down you'll be able to figure out probably which device or which thing or at least know if it's any of these devices that are here well that's what that's what you see all these other guys running around doing there are uh, computer forensic analysts so like even you know even if something's on a computer that someone might have downloaded and then deleted they're gonna be able to find it you know yeah, they, they've been great. doing that that's what they do you know yep so you know with that being said we're just trying to get get to the bottom exactly. of exactly no well that, that that helps me a lot to understand what you're what you're here for so i understand that i respect that that's good so what other uh i guess you know they'll do their work and figure out what they can find so has there been anything let's say within the last five to six months between yourself or any of your employees or any other associates that have been on this property that has raised a red flag as to why that search warrant or federal search warrant might have been signed. Not That's at all. Why we're here? No. Nothing that might have been accidentally or intentionally downloaded or uploaded from any of these networks or software programs that we've talked about. And not that I know of. 